Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well today. Today is a very special video because you may know tomorrow by the time you're seeing this, Into the Pit, the video game comes out. And I thought it would be a great idea to read some of the actual book to prepare you all. Not all of it, but some of the Into the Pit story. So, let's get to this. This is going to be very furry, um, something. Let's see if we can actually do... Do be... Come on. Come on, Oh! Oh, good! Oh! Oh! Oh, good! Oh! What the hell are you doing? Oh! What the me? You gotta shut up. What the hell are you doing? I am trying to, um, uh... Read this into the pit book. Okay, but what do you need? Tiger, read it. It seems like you're having a very, very hard time. Oh, I know. Hey, uh, um, let me just, um, I know exactly what to do. Alright, 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 Ah, what are you doing? Ah, come on. Ugh, into the pit. Yes, 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 I know, I know, I must. Here we go. Um, you, um, you, 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 ah, you're gonna stand it. Ah. You gotta- oh, Ah! Ah! Ah, there we go. Well, now I can't read the first lines. Damn it! Okay. Oh my god, what a Freddy. Please! It's the only way you can- Okay. Hmm, let me see. The dead possum still there also was looking- Was looking- Looking- out the passenger window at the gray furry cops. What, what what furry cops? What the hell? Wait, oh god, on the side of the road. Ooh, it looked it looked it looked uh, even deader than it had yesterday. That's a that's a weird way to start off a book. Last night's rain hadn't helped. Nothing looks deader than a dead person Oswald's dad said except this town oh right um this town there is like Star City well, no no that, okay that that <laughs> oh god dude you literally just roasted Star City <laughs> look I get it's a fictional city but still did you really just dude you've seen the arrow show you've seen all the bad stuff that's happened there really what's worse Ninjago City or Star City which one had it worse tell us in the comments below Anyway, let me just continue on. Uh, let me see. Oswald mumbled, looking at the boarded up storefront and display windows, which which, uh, which were displaying nothing but dust. What's that? Dad said. He was already wearing the stupid red vest they had put him in when he worked at the Della 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 Counter. The Della Counter. The, the deli counter uh, until <laughs> at the snack space something snack space snack space really that's what it's called Oswald wished he 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 wait wish he wait to 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 put it on after until he after he dropped him at school this town also said louder this time this town is deader looks deader than a Dead possum! Oh my god, this is so cool. Is that laugh? D well, um, don't. I don't guess I can argue with that. Three years ago, when also was seven, he had actually been stuck to do here. I'm moving in there. I gave a gun so an ice cream shovel of a man. Oh, shoot. What funny. Come on. Ah! Uh. With amazing waffle cones, whatever that is. But then the mill has closed. The mill had basically been the reason the town existed. Also, that had lost his job, and so had hundreds of other kids, moms, and dads. Oh, so a great depression happened in this town. Okay, then. Lots of families have moved away, including Oswald's best friend Ben and his family. <laughs> they stay because it. His mom's job at the hospital was steady, and they didn't want to move far away from grandma. So that ended up with a part-time job at the snack spray, which paid $5 an hour less than he made at the mill. Oswald watched the town die. Wow. Oh, God. That's a very, uh... Oh, God. Oh, okay. All right, now it's much easier to see. 
Is it? Like, is it? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. What business after a shutdown, like the organs in dying bodies? Nothing. No, because nobody had the money for movies or games or amazing waffle cones anymore. Oh, dear. Are you excited it's the last day of school, that is? It's one of those questions I don't always ask. How? Ask. Ask. Like, how was your day? Or did, uh, or did you brush your teeth? Oh, sure, I guessed. But there's nothing to do. Ooh, with Ben gone. <laughs> no, school's boring, but home's boring too. When I was 10, I wasn't home in the summer. Uh, um, until I got in for supper. I rode my bike and played baseball and sh and and then got in all into all kinds of tr Oh my God, where the Freddy? Please, dude, why are you having me doing this? Because I don't have anyone else here right now. Ah, how's it going? Sure, you're saying I should get in trouble. Oswald said. No, I'm saying you should have fun. That pulled, 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 pulled into a. The drop of lion in front of Westbrook Elementary had fun. Wait, isn't it a Miller school? He's 10, right? So technically, shouldn't he have been a Miller school? I'm not even sure anymore. Have fun. He made it sound easy. I mean, I don't know. I also walked through the school's double doors and was and smacked into Dylan Dale. Did. <laughs> Dylan Cooper, the last person he wanted to 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 to, to see, also was to wanted to see though because his mouth spread it in a wide grin. It was a tall skin in fifth grade and clearly enjoyed. Um, what the hell does that say? Lumen over his victim. Or is it an also the ocelot? What kind of name is that? Ocelot? <laughs> is this is grin? Oh, uh, spreading impossibly wider. That one never goes Oh, does it? Oswald walked past uh, Dylan and was relieved when his doorman closed not to follow him. Okay, when Oswald and his fifth grade classmates were preschoolers, there's a cartoon on one of the little kids channels about a big pink ocelot named Oswald. What the hell does that mean? As was so, Dylan's friends had a sh- I call him Oswald the Ocelot. On the first day of kindergarten, had never stopped- Wait a minute, they're in fifth grade? I thought they were in- No, 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 they're in fourth- Wait. I am so confused! Oh my god. Dylan was the kind of kid who who picked who picked on anything that made you different. If it hadn't been Oswald's name, it would have been his freckles or his cow What the frick wait what? <laughs> the name Colin had gotten much worse this year in US history when they learned about a man who shot John F. Kennedy was named Lee Harvey Oswald. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh God! Um, Oswald w would rather be an Oswald than a. Sa oh my! That's dark. That is that. That's so dark. What the? F <gasps> what? What? How did I forget about this? Since it was the last day of school, there was a no attempt at doing any kind of real work. I mean, of course, Mr. Meacham had the uh, had had. Announced the day before that students were, were allowed to bring their electronics as long as they took responsibility for anything getting lost or broken. You mean as long as they took great power and responsibility? This announcement meant that no effort would be made toward any educational activities of any kind. I also didn't have any modern electronics. True, there. There was one laptop at home, but the whole family shared it, and he wasn't allowed to bring it to school. Oh, come on, come on. He had a phone, but it was the saddest, most out-of-date model imaginable. 
And he didn't want to take it out of his pocket because he knew any kid saw would make fun of. Oh, uh, but the attic. Oh, come on. Uh, it was. Oh, speaking of which, why are you using the Samsung 10 if you have the Samsung 22? Because we don't know how many days we have for this beautiful thing. We gotta use it while we can. Plus, it has all, still has all the um, uh, contacts and Facebook and TikTok and stuff that hasn't been put in the other phone. TikTok's in the other phone. Oh, no, 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 not TikTok. Forget about that. I meant Twitter and Insta. Okay, so while the other kids played games in their tabletas or handheld consoles like Nintendo Switchio, also sat. Oh, God. Ah! Come on, stupid thing. I'm out of breath. I was just sitting becoming intro top of two int. <gasps> he took out the Freddy Fest a notebook and Petro started to draw. Oh, he drawed. I love people who draw. He wasn't the the, the, the the best artist in the world, but he could draw well. Well enough to. Um, oh, love that his images were in identical and that there was a certain. Um, or tuny quality was drawn that he liked. The best about drawing, though, was that he can get lost in 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 in, in scene he was creating. It was a welcome escape. You know why? But lately, he had been drawing mechanical animals: bears, bunnies, and birds. You mean me, Bonnie Chica? What the? F Wait, is Foxy there? Ah! Frick, I lost it! I lost it! No! Frick! Oh, frick, 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 frick. Oh no, I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. I found it, I found it. Oh god! Okay, uh. Um, he imagined them being human size and moving with the, with the jerkiness of Wobot in an old science fiction movie. That's literally the FNAF movie. The, 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 the. They, 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 they were furry on the outside, but the fur covered the hard metal skeleton filled with med gears and circuits. So end of end. Sometimes he drew, drew, drew the animals metal skeletons or sketched them with the fur peeled back to show some of the mechanism. So he also drawed withered boys. This is working underneath. It was a creepy effect, but it seemed like... Frick, like seeing a eh, animal's exposed metal skeletons, or, or creepy like seeing a person's skull peeking out of out from beneath the skin. Often it was so ah, oh my god, yeah, there's no way we're doing this for that long. <laughs> oh god, we gotta do like four more pages of this. Was so much in his drawings that 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 that, that he was startled when return. Of the lights to to show a movie. Movies will always seem like a teacher's final act of desperation on a day before break. A way to keep the kids quiet and let be still for an hour and a half before hour and a half. Hold on, no way a, a class is that long. Whoa, 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 whoa! The class is a. If a the class was out of that, that means they're not done till 6 p.m. That cannot be a thing. <laughs> oh my god. The movie Mr. Merrick chose was, in also opinion, two babies for room for fifth grade. What was it? What was it? What was it? But a farm with duck and animals. And he watched it before. And he watched it again because he, because really, what else did he have to do? And we his kids stood around tossing a ball back and forth. And talking about how they're gonna do over the summer. I'm going to football camp, basketball camp, hang out at the pool. I'm gonna stay with my grandparents in Floyd. Oh yes, Floyd. <laughs> if you see my plus videos, you know I've been I went to Floyd a lot of times. Yet we never did one Gmod. That should be one of the episodes. Just should be them going to Floyd. Anyways, moving on from that. I was gonna sit on a bench and listened. For him, there would be no camps and no pool memberships and no trips because there was no money. So he drawed pictures of his old video games that he already beaten a th thousand times and maybe go to the library. If Ben was still here, it would be different. 
even they were just doing the same old stuff, been doing it together. Uh, and Ben could always make us all laugh. Riving on video game characters or doing a perfect imp impression of one of the teachers. Him and Ben had fun no matter what they did. But now it's summer about and yawned before him, wide and empty. Most days, mom would work from 12 p.m. until 12 a.m. Dad had to make dinner. Usually they got by. Oh god! Oh no no no! Oh my god! Okay, we're almost done. Almost done. You know what? We'll do these two pages and then we're done. Oh, okay. Okay. So it was hard to say no to a warm, gooey cheese slice. So it wasn't a school night and wouldn't be again for some kind. I also stayed up after and went to bed and watched an old Japanese monster movie. I'm guessing that was Godzilla. With uh, Jinx called up Pern on his lap. Also, I've seen a lot of B-grade Japanese horror films, but this one, Zandralex versus Mecha Zan that is literally Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. I don't even know, even know how I know that. I just know that's what it is. It was new to him. As always, Godzilla just looked like a giant lizard thing, but Mecha Godzilla reminded him of the animatronics he drew when. He stripped them of their fur. He laughed at the movie's special effect. The train just had destroyed was clearly a toy, and and at how the actor's lip movements didn't match the dubbed in English. Ever though, he always found himself rooting for Godzilla, even though he was just a guy in a rubber suit. Somehow he managed to get. To have a lot of personality. In bed, he tried to count his blessings. He didn't have Ben, but he had monster movies and libraries and lunchtime pizza slices. It was better than nothing, but it still wasn't going to be enough to keep him going all summer. Please, he wished. So let's see that something happen. Just have it. He woke up to smell coffee and bacon soup. The coffee fee he could do without, but the bacon smelled amazing. Breakfast time meant uh, time with his mom, often the only time with her until the weekend. After one necessary stop, he hurried down to the kitchen. Well, look at that. My rising sixth grader has ri risen. Shouldn't he be 11? By now, not 10? This is an 11 year old. Now I'm confused. I don't understand anymore. Mom, well, look, uh, Mom was standing at the over the stove at in her uh, fuzzy pink bathrobe. Her blonde put her pulled back from the point of her. Uh, yum, there were pancakes. Uh, open her eyes. I demand a morning hug. Sighed and looked like no one, but he went over and hugged. It was funny. But he always said that he was too old for hugs, but he never turned down his mom's open arms. Maybe it was because he didn't get to s spend time with her during the week. While he and her dad spend much time together, they sometimes get in, in on each other's nerves. You know, Mom, Miss Dillman felt bad for Evan to us, but he also knew that since Dad's job at was just part-time, long hours were most of the reason the bills were getting paid. Always said that adult life was a fight between time and money. The more money earned to spend on bills, and this is the last time you got to spend with. Hey, it was a difficult balance. Sat down a character to take the board of George. Okay, yeah, we're done. Oh my god, that, okay. I, I know I want to go to Tavi's step, but no, that was just. That was just too much. There you go. There is some of Into the Pit. I'm sorry we couldn't get to the good stuff, but. Um, you can read the rest. Let's just say that. If you have the book, just read the rest. I just read nine pages for you so that you can read the rest. And I think there's only like 60. So now you just have like 51 of those pages to go. So, um, do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, give it a like. You subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye, every... But, the... No, no, the phone! I'm gonna drop. What, what do you mean, drop? It dropped. Help me pick it up. No. 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 What the... Oh, what the... I can't believe you made me do that. No! What the? Oh, oh, gonna put you in your.
Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Don't worry, he's fine. Oh. 